One, two, three. Okay. Hello world. My name is Miles, host of this Twitch channel, Miles Does Science, where twice a week I play some kind of science theme video game and critique how accurately it represents the science it is based on. Today, my guest will be Mary Poppins, the cat that I live with and love very much. Uh, I don't know what her problem is right now. I think she wants her, uh, her bedtime snacks, but she's going to have to wait because today we're playing some Project Chemistry. I don't know how much longer I'll be playing this game for, but it's quite a lot of fun, so I figure I'll go at least uh, a couple more rounds. I have no idea how intense the um, this quest mode gets. Uh, I mean, we've made, we've done quite a lot, really filling out this tree, but. I mean, we're mostly just sticking with inorganic chemistry so far. And, you know, if we ever cross into the realm of organic chemistry, then, you know, <laughs> everything's just going to go wild. I'm playing this kind of late tonight, so uh, I probably won't be at the top of my chemistry game. But nonetheless, we can, we can try to figure this stuff out. So last time I played this, I was pretty well stuck. Um... I believe for this reaction, I wasn't able to spawn calcium oxide. Uh, I believe that, yeah, I believe that's calcium oxide. And then for uh, this reaction, this one just isn't very clear. Like, do I synthesize iron two chloride or do I synthesize iron three chloride? Um, and that that that's just a uh, that's obviously some kind of bug, so um, I, can, I can try to do this again, uh, see if I'm crazy. I'm pretty sure I don't have calcium oxide. No, I don't see it. Just one, one calcium, one oxygen atom? No? No? Yeah, it's not here. Not here. So, um, we gotta, we gotta synthesize it then. So, how we, how do we want to do that? May be able to, like, split a calcium hydroxide somehow. I'm not sure how. Maybe if we react it with some water. I don't know. My first instinct is to just throw water at things. See what happens. Where's water? There we go. I'm going to be playing it a little slow tonight because it's a little late where I am right now. Alright, let's see, does that do anything for us? No, it does not. It does absolutely nothing. Great. Off to a roaring start here. If I can't make much progress uh, after today, then I'll probably just try out a new game next time. Um... I mean, I can, I can spawn uh, carbon dioxide. Maybe, that, maybe that's what I was missing. I need carbon dioxide as well. Oh, I guess that wouldn't make much sense. Because I need to make calcium oxide. Does this do anything for me? Make calcium carbonate. Um, carbonic acid. Yeah, nothing. How are we going to make calcium oxide? So, I mean, maybe we can just we can throw some diatomic oxygen into this mixture. Can't do anything for us. No, not really. <laughs> All right, I'm just, I'm just kind of throwing things into this metaphorical beaker. Maybe calcium chloride instead. I want to do some kind of displacement reaction where we swap out, um, for example, we swap out two chlorides here for an oxygen ion, but you know, oxygen doesn't really ionize that easily, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that. 
Well, obviously it worked here. Maybe if I just, uh, kind of like with uh, one of these reactions here. Yeah, so reacting iron with water can give us um, iron oxide. Maybe I could do something similar if I just get a plain old uh, calcium. Oh, there it is. God, I thought I was going crazy for a second. Get a couple calciums out here. And did that do anything for us? Yep, there we go. Nice. Man, it was that easy. It's a simple combustion reaction. Alright then. I think that means. Okay, yeah, we're ready to conduct our calcium carbonate acid base reaction. So I already have calcium carbonate in my little uh, molecule bin. Yeah, this is it. Can we do our acid-base reaction? Uh, is this the acid-base reaction they're talking about? To synthesize calcium carbonate? Yep, all right, cool what they wanted. Nice. So we've synthesized. The cat's jumping up on the desk right now. Oh, Poppers, you gotta behave. Come on. There you go. Yeah, you're all right now. Okay, so we've synthesized calcium carbonate in two different ways now. How exciting. Okay, now, okay, so now, we're, now we want to make zinc oxide. Easy. I'm a master at this. I just want to get some. Do I do? Oh crap. No zinc? Oh, how do you expect me to do this without zinc? Zinc, zinc should be somewhere in this uh, D block, I believe. But it's not, not there. I have not unlocked it yet. So, uh, yeah. Pretty much, uh, pretty much screwed there. I can't spawn zinc oxide though. I don't even have zinc available. I have strontium for some reason, but not zinc. And gallium. Like, I don't even. I've never even seen a reaction that gallium participates in. <laughs> Let's see here. Help menu comes up. Nah, I don't need that. I don't need any help menu. Well, I don't I don't have zinc, so I'm not I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about that. Uh I guess it oh man, I have another branch up here. Here we go. Um slaking? Slacking? What the heck? Okay, so I'm gonna conduct a reaction to produce calcium hydroxide using calcium oxide. Okay. Okay, I can do that. Uh Let's see, what kind of reaction would that be? Uh, I imagine I just have, I take calcium oxide and then I either I either throw water or hydrogen at it and it'll probably work. So, let's see, calcium oxide. Um, go ahead and just get a couple, a couple out. There we go. And then, so what was your reaction again? Okay, we're gonna make calcium hydroxide using calcium oxide. So, let's just throw some water at it. It's the first thing I always try, just throw water at it. If you're ever in need of hydrogen or oxygen, just uh, you know, throw water at the reaction. Good old H2O. Let's see. So I want to make calcium hydroxide. Here we go. From calcium oxide. Booyah. Beautiful. Now we synthesize calcium hydroxide in two different ways. Oh, I was expecting that to go somewhere. Didn't look like it went anywhere. Okay, we're back to just these two again. Let's see, did I get uh, zinc? No, no zinc. 
All right then. Well, let's try. Yeah, I could try this again. Let's see if I get anywhere. I think the yeah, these are the only two that are open right now, so it's either this way or no way. Let's go ahead and uh, see. Get out of that. And clear our space here. And see, we want some iron. We know that much. Let's just get like a couple irons out here. Um, have any molecular chlorine? Perhaps? Yeah, let's do that. Um, let me just I'll throw a couple of those out. Not really thinking through these very much. I find it's a little more fun to just, you know, throw stuff together, see what happens. That is not at all what I want. Or actually, no, that is that is close. Or no, that is exactly what I want. Gosh, wow, that was so easy. I spent forever trying to do this last time. Okay, what's next? Okay, so that was the first step. Oh, okay. I thought... Okay, I was confused there. Okay, so now... Okay, so I assume that the two different molecules I just made are the two that I need to um, create iron 3 chloride. So... Three different molecules in H2O. Okay, so I know we need water. Our good old pal water. Oh man, where does zinc oxide come from? What the heck? Oh, Alright. I won't complain. Alright, we want iron 3 chloride. So, I guess the, the age old question is what is the third? What is the third molecule we need? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we might just need like some more equivalents of certain things. Let's see, can I just get some more iron two chloride out? Oh, wait, what? This is it right here, isn't it? Iron 3 chloride? Or iron trichloride? Iron 3 trichloride? <laughs> I mean, I, I can spawn it. I don't know why they're just giving it to me. Man, I'm a little confused right now. So let's, let's just. Let's go with what I was trying to do earlier. Where is iron 2 chloride? Iron 2 chloride? Anywhere? How do I not have iron 2 chloride, but iron 3 chloride? Or sorry, iron 2 dichloride. What if I just spawn it? What happens? Nothing? Okay. Excuse my phone alarm there. Um. Can throw some hydrogen in here. Get a little bit more water, perhaps. Come on, there you go. Now what? Nothing. Okay, that's about what I expected. Oh, uh, let's let's go. Let's try. Let's try our other thing here. Zinc oxide. We can do that. Okay. Clean area. Get a carbon atom out here. What this is gonna make to produce zinc and calcium oxide. Okay. Man, super straightforward. Beautiful. And now we've got zinc, baby. Cool. Oh, I think I have a couple. Oh yeah, nice. Methane. 
Oh, so we're just gonna burn methane. That's easy. I can do that. I'll do that in my sleep. I'm practically asleep right now. Let's see. We just need some good old oxygen. Our good old pal molecular oxygen. And then let's see here. I think this should be. Or no, I think we need some more oxygen, actually. Yeah, we need one more equivalent molecular oxygen. So let's see, we'll have two hydrogens go to an oxygen to make a water, two other hydrogens go to an oxygen to make a water, and then the remaining two oxygens go with the carbon to make carbon dioxide. Yeah. Wait, was that not what I was supposed to do? Oh, carbon monoxide. Oh, God. Carbon monoxide? Totally read it wrong. Okay, well, try again. I guess if you react methane with just one equivalent of... Nah, that wouldn't work. Let's try again real quick. Did I get anything? Just have this. No. Oh, we can make acetic acid. No. Okay. Conduct reaction to produce. Okay. Calcium hydroxide. Oh, produce. God, I can't read this. I can't read it all. Okay. We have to use carbon monoxide to make methane. Okay. Good lord. Took me long enough. Let's see, do I have carbon monoxide even? Yeah, here we go. Nice. Nice triple bond. Okay. So, I guess we would just, we would just throw hydrogen at this. I mean, we need at least four hydrogen atoms to make our methane and then probably throw another uh, let's see we want probably another molecular hydrogen to make so that this oxygen can become a water molecule let's see what do we got yep here we go a redox reaction cool redox reaction um, let's see here man can I, I don't know if I can even explain chemistry right now it in general it involves exchanging electrons essentially um, although I guess you can kind of break down chemistry almost all chemistry into that but anyway we've got uh, yttrium cool I have no, like, are they gonna make me do chemistry with this? <laughs> with these, you know, middle of the road elements? I have no idea how to, how those things behave in chemistry, so I can't imagine that going well. Alright, so now we're going to, okay, this seems pretty straightforward. We just have, yeah, zinc, when sulfuric acid again this structure is wrong there should be a double bond to that uh, see to both of these oxygens actually anyway I won't let that ruin my day oh and I already have zinc cool displacement reaction Cool. What this looks like. Nice. So yeah, the zinc just took the place of the two uh, hydrogens. Whoa. Fluorescence? Okay. One zinc, one iron. Oh man, what would this be? <sighs> iron three sulfide iron three monosulfide okay I gotta spawn it do I have it I 
Oh, ferrous sulfide. Okay. Yeah, the, the naming conventions for these transition metal compounds. Man, it's been so long since I've studied those conventions. I'm not surprised I've forgotten them. I mean, I already spawned it. Let's see, in a zinc. Respond it. I mean to do that too. Oh, okay. Let's see. I think is this what we want? Yeah, zinc. Zinc. What would it be? Zinc. No, I'm not even gonna try to name. Name. What is it? Zinc. Wait, no, that's the wrong one. Zinc sulfide. Ah, oh, I was right. Jeez. Cool. Oh, we got sulfur now. Sweet. Man, I really love this game. It's so cool. You can kind of see the path I've taken. <laughs> All the way up here. From my humble beginnings. Nice. Sweet and sour. Man, this is so much fun. Let's see here. Do I already have this? Oh, this seems pretty easy. Spawn zinc. I can do that. Baby could do that. A baby could do this chemistry. Let's see, they wanted me to do a displacement reaction. Maybe I need to spawn an iron three or an iron three trichloride. Oh, 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 Lord. Am I going crazy? Where the heck is it? There. There we go. Okay. Let's try again. I keep, I keep forgetting the reactions. A zinc and an iron, yeah, an iron three trichloride. Maybe we just need some, some more equivalents out of here. Let's get two, and then we'll get some, get some more zinc. How's that? Here we go. I think this is what it wants. Yep, nice. Cool. Potassium and fluorine. Man, we are just rocking this right now. Soon we'll have all the main group elements. Although I guess we do have, we have quite a ways to go. I wonder when we'll uh, get to these hell. <coughs> oh my lord. Oh. God, that came out of nowhere. Jeez. Uh, anyway, as I was saying, I wonder when we're going to get over to these halogens over here. Essentially, they do, like, no chemistry, from what I understand, so it'd be pretty boring, but still, I want to do it. Okay, so... Oh, we need to synthesize potassium hydroxide. I think that'd be pretty easy. We'll just throw some potassium in some water. And that'll probably work. Let's see, probably have water out already, so. No? Let's get some, some extra water out here. Probably just do a simple displacement reaction. If I have like sodium hydroxide or something, I should have sodium hydroxide. But I've forgotten the alphabet, so. Uh, there we go. I'm thinking they could just have a simple displacement here. 
perhaps. Although I guess the cal potassium isn't ionized actually, so oh, that won't work. Dang it. I thought I was being clever. Kinda of surprised that throwing just throwing water at potassium didn't work. Some oxygen out here too. Why not? Does that do anything to my potassium? Potassium's not doing anything. I need to get it to ionize somehow. Uh, let's see. Did I read this correctly? Yeah, synthesize two calcium hydroxide. Okay, or sorry, potassium hydroxide. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a, another try real quick. Probably gonna hit the hay soon. Let's see here. I'm not even sure what to do. <laughs> It's amazing how much slower my brain works now that it's nighttime. At least that's what I. That's my excuse, anyway. In fact, let's just spawn like some extra potassium. Fun fact I don't think bananas actually have that much potassium. I'm pretty sure, like. Even some candies have more potassium than bananas. Doesn't mean bananas aren't good, they're still good. Hey, potassium chloride, isn't that something I was gonna make? Anyway, maybe I could react this with sodium hydroxide, get it to ionize. Or I mean, just a simple displacement reaction. Sodium hydroxide. this one. Displacement reaction to produce potassium chloride and calcium fluoride. That sounds fun. Displacement reaction. So, okay. This shouldn't be so hard. I think we would just, we would need like potassium fluoride and calcium chloride. calcium chloride. Yeah, there we go. Calcium chloride. Do I have potassium fluoride? I don't think so. I need to make that. Got potassium chloride. And that's it. Let's just throw some fluoride out here. Fun fact, I'm pretty sure Oh man, that's kind of cool. Can you hear him like whizzing past you? <laughs> that's a funny effect. Yeah, I'm pretty sure electrons don't make noises like race cars. 
They like have their own Doppler effect. You know, like the sound where pitch of an ambulance chase or changes as it races by you. <laughs> that's that's cool. Anyway, what was I trying to do? Calcium fluoride stuff. Okay. Um, let's see. Can I do anything with that fluoride? Yeah, calcium or potassium fluoride. Not really, that's all you have to do. Just smush those two atoms together. Alright. Another fun fact, uh, fluorine is the most electron-hungry of all the atoms. It really loves to hold on to electrons. Alright, so we have potassium fluoride now. So, if we react that with calcium chloride, we should get what we want, our displacement reaction, but we probably need some extra equivalents out here. Let's get our potassium out, and then, let's see, can I just spawn some extra potassium fluoride? Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Let's see. I think this will work. Yeah, I think that'll work. Looks balanced. No? Ah, here we go. Yeah, nice. Zirconium? Jeez. They're giving me all the cool stuff. They're giving me all these weird elements right here and I don't do anything with them. <laughs> I have no idea what kind of chemistry zirconium has. High quality glass. Okay. Oh, we're about to do something with zirconium. Jeez, this seems complicated. So you use potassium fluoride. And then, in the end, you get zirconium for fluoride, calcium chloride, and hydrogen. Man, that seems nuts. Well, I imagine we need... Um, you can try to, try to do this one real quick. These atoms are getting really big. Uh, yeah, as we move down to this bottom left corner of the periodic table, the atoms get a lot bigger, so. Okay, we'll need more calcium fluoride. It's like such a relaxing game to play. You can just forget all your troubles and become a chemist for like an hour. Forgotten reaction again. Okay, so we have enough uh, calcium fluoride. Maybe we can throw some hydrochloric acid in as well. Get that. Get this chlorine. Why not? Where is it? Hydrochloric acid. We got it. Bam. Chemistry genius. Chemistry genius. This is really cool. It's got a... Uh, what is this called? I think you just call this like a planar geometry? I don't know. Maybe tetrahedral planar? Man, I don't even, I don't even remember my my Vesper geometries. But I remember that Vesper is valence shell electron pair repulsion. Pretty sure anyway. And that's the end of that branch. Okay, I think that's kind of a good place. 
to leave off. I'm getting pretty tired. Oh, man. Ugh. I had a very productive night of chemistry. I mean, I, I can keep going. Um, I, I really have no idea how big this, this tree gets. Um, looks like there still there's a lot of chemistry out there left to do. So, I imagine I can probably sink quite a few hours into this, actually. Um, but, you know, I think I'll probably switch it up next time. I'll, I'll get another game and, you know, try try something new. I, th I think we're due for something new. But I can always come back to Project Chemistry sometime in the future. Alright, so uh, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you very much for watching. I'll uh, try to do... Um, try to play some more games tomorrow and uh yeah thank you very much and oh and if uh there's a, a nice purple follow button right at the uh, right below this video you could take a moment to click that follow button it'd be greatly appreciated yeah uh, you know it doesn't cost any money to follow me at all and you can get updates on when uh these streams come out i believe and it's free and you can always unfollow me later if you want so why not go ahead and do it? Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and have a good rest of your day.